Okay, so today we are with our resident roast master, Kuya Hill, and we have been practicing on our new <coughs> Yoshan roaster, and we're going to give you some basic information on how to roast coffee. Kuya Hill, give us a quick overview. Uh, if I have no experience in coffee, mm -hmm. just a few sentences on how to roast coffee. Roasting coffee is also a exciting activity in coffee industry. Because before you roast coffee, you need to make it sure that your coffee beans are in correct moisture content. So the moisture content, it should be uh, in between 10 to 12 uh, percent moisture content and from that uh, start you can determine and control the uh, roasting machine in order for you to get the roasting profile you've desired meaning uh, during roasting you should have an idea what particular roasting profile you should uh, do uh, like what we have right now we are preparing to roast into a medium roast If we get a roast around medium roast or roasting profile of medium roast, so we need to preheat, we need to heat the drum before we pour out the coffee beans. We need to preheat at around 200 degrees uh, centigrade. So what I need is I need coffee beans. Of course, we should have a weighing scale. We, sh we should have timer because uh, we need to determine how many minutes and how many minutes we, we, we start. Because when you roast, we need to preheat the drum of our roasting facilities. So we need to have a time in order to have an accurate uh, records for, for, for us to, to have a consistent result. We need to record the time of preheat. And also, uh, there are several uh, things we need to remember that after preheat, we should have a record of how how many degrees centigrade before we pour out the the coffee beans. Uh, after the coffee beans we end, is already in the drum, a uh, roasting drum, we should need to have a record of uh, temperature because temperature would be a, having a critical role in roasting coffee. So within within one minute and thirty seconds, the drum is already around two hundred degrees centigrade, and that's the time we need to pour the one hundred grams, and then it should be finished around nine minutes. Okay. So because this is only hundred grams, it should be nine minutes to finish, and that's considered medium roast. So, proper temperature, proper airflow, and time, exact time, I think that could give you a good uh, roasting profile of what you desired. Meaning, if you roast coffee, all of those important things to prepare before roasting, it should be ready and the, the beans is already inside. Uh, there's, there's no way to stop the uh, roasting because you forgot something. Because roasting, it should be continuous. Uh, the temper temperature that we desire, uh, especially when we start at 210 degrees centigrade, and it should be uh, continuous up to a finish of 230 degrees centigrade. And that is uh, medium roast. So if we, if we desire to, to roast in a dark roast, you should have also another uh, adjustment of temperature. 
because temperature could dictate how many minutes and what roasting profile you need uh, to have a result. Okay, so today we have done our first uh, sample roasting with the Yoshan 100 gram sample roaster. We had a few issues at first, but we got them worked out, we think. And now we're starting to work on roast profiles for the individual coffee samples that we've already been given. Uh, Kuya Hill is here, he's, he is the coffee expert, and uh, he's been uh, running through these samples, figuring out what works, what doesn't. And so we're gonna show you what we've done today. And then if you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section. If you need green beans or roasted coffee from the Philippines, give us a call, see if we can work something out.